Enter, stranger. Ah, name, age, and direction, please. I'm Alex Patey, I'm 14, and I come from Dr. Town's Grammar School, Box. Oh, a scholar, master. And your advisors, are they fellow scholars too? Yes, sir. Well, call them. Ian, Grant, and Richard. Welcome. Who guides this dungeon here? Ian Rogers. Grant Devlin. Richard Newman. Newman. A new man, a new challenge, Master. Yes. Well, before we begin, you must pledge to redeem one of three quest objects. The cup, the sword, or the crown. So, which will it be? The castle. Mm. Mm. Cup. Go for the cup. The cup. An excellent choice. The knapsack awaits, Master. Now, Alex, this knapsack will feed your life force. Place all food in it, but only food. And now for the eye shield. This will show your friends the path you take. And finally, the famous helmet of justice. Unless, of course, you wish to decline. No, not at all. Good. Very well. Turn, then. There is a portal before you. So take heart and step bravely forward into your adventure. Alex, we can see through the eye shield at the moment, and you're walking along a lawn inside the castle. Where am I? Hello, Alex. Ah, supplies for your quest, it seems. There seems to be a table in the room with some objects on it and a couple of bags of sand or something and a portcullis in front of you. Okay, could you take two steps forward? Turn to your left. Walk forward. Stop. You see the table? Yes. Um, could you go through the objects, please? Yep, there's um, a bar of gold, a scroll, an arrow, a key, um, a gem, and a lantern. Um, is there anything written on the scroll? Yeah, it says, the path of truth is well lit. Some weapons belong to friends. Mm, well, it beats me, Master. I'm not sure what they should take. I think we were better off when the powers that be didn't leave clues lying around, if you ask me. I don't know whether it's escaped your notice, Pickle, but no one is asking you. We're all trying to get on with this adventure. Well, if you really... Uh, uh, <clears throat> What should I take? I think I think the lantern and the arrow might be good. Is, is there anything on the arrow? Any weird no. symbols or anything? It's just, no, it's uh, just a plain arrow. Okay. It says the path of truth is well lit, so maybe you don't need the lantern. Yeah, that's ah. true. And, and some of friends with enemies. The key, that yeah. might be or good. Or friends or something. The key might be for the enemy. Yeah. So we, so I think we need to get the arrow, because yeah. somebody might be needing it. Right. Pick up the arrow. Or the gem, which one? Yeah. Gold. I think it was by gold. Yeah. Yes. Pick up the gold. That's it. Okay. Okay. Right. Can you move around the table? That's it. Right. Um, uh, gate is open. The door is open. Right. Turn to your right. Stop. Okay. Walk forward. Keep going. Okay, Alex, you're in an enclosed room with no apparent exits. Ah, yes, the descender. Oh, machinery, master! You wouldn't get me travelling in one of these things. <laughs> it may be machinery pickle, but it is spellbound team. This device is voice activated, and the path you want is downward. Turn to take 
need to say down. Say down, Alex. Sorry? Say down. Down. <laughs> How far is it going, Master? Well, only the descender knows. I should tell your friend what's going on. OK, Alex, you're going down in what appears to be an elevator with windows in front of you. You can see different things out of them. Some are closed. Stopped. Yes. Okay. Um, take a side step to your right. <gasps> Wait, isn't that a fright night over the door, Master? Oh, so it is. But the choice is theirs. Fright night. Oh. What do you think? Then? Right, right, take a side step to your left. Take another one. Right, walk forward. Do I say stop? Okay, take a side step to your left. Carry on walking forward. All right, Alex, you're seeing through the eye shield now. Uh, you're going down the path in your outside. There's a couple of gates. You're turning to the left. There's a... OK, Alex. Um... Arms for the poor, yet strangely rich in intellect. Arms, arms for the poor cripple, who can yet boast fine patrician looks and, dare I say it, an air of majesty. Oh, dear, <laughs> Master. I don't know why Hordes the Confuser bothers to try disguising himself. He's so vain and pompous, anyone can spot him a mile off. Yes, yes, Pickle, but I think they'd better humour him all the same. Ordus is obviously after something. His game doesn't often conflict with ours. Ah, greetings, young traveller. Despite one's oddly reduced circumstances, one is always pleased to see a new face. <laughs> How are you named, traveller? Alex. Alex. Greetings, Alex. <laughs> yes, I am Horde. <laughs> Harris, Harris, <laughs> yes, a poor cripple. And one begs of you, I mean, I beg of you, a favor. Uh, you have but to carry with you on your travels this small book. Yes, and uh, give it to a fellow member of the Honorable Guild of Beggars. His name is Sylvester Hans. Yes. <laughs> yes, it will bring to him such simple joy and pleasure. For Hans, you see, is a, a lover of fine literature and learning. Yes. Will you do that for me? Shall I take it? Um, yeah. Ask, okay. ask for an exchange. So. Just, uh, he's going to give it to a friend, uh, isn't he? So he take it. Yeah, but if he, he takes yeah, that, can I we'll take one thing? Yeah, we, we can two only take two. Yeah. So it takes out three, and we don't want to ah, lose them. Ah, well, I think we may have an answer to that problem, if you agree to take it, that is. What's that? Will you take this book and deliver it to Sylvester Hand for me? I think we should. Yeah, OK. okay. We'll make friends. Shall we? Yeah, yeah. All right. OK. Yes, I shall. Ah, excellent. I knew you'd agree in the end, splendid fellow. Now, I shall place it in this knapsack of yours. Yeah. Now, don't be alarmed. It will not be consumed despite what you've been told. Okay. Trust me. There we are. Is that right? Splendid. Yeah. Thank you. Thank now, you. you understand that one has nothing of any real value to repay such a favour, but one does, however, have access to a humble charm. It is called hero. It may serve you well, but serve you only once. Yes. Well, farewell. OK. Um, there's some stairs. Turn to the right first. Right. There's some stairs in a uh, bit to the right and in front of you. And there's a closed door. Right. And above the stairs, there's a, there's a door right. So 
you take two side steps to your right, walk forward, please. Turn a bit to the left. Okay, I'm walking. Right. You're coming to some stairs. Do you, could you go up them? Okay, you're looking through the eye shield. All right, you're now going up the stairs. Um, there's, there seems to be a hole to the right of you. It looks it's a doorway. And there's, there's a doorway down there. What's still going up? Yeah. Yes. Mm, not sure about these heights, Master. We don't look, people. Mm. Okay, okay, you're now going through the doorway. I think there's a window to the left of you. And you're now looking through it. <gasps> and goblins to boot! Yes, you must make haste, team. Okay. Turn to your right, Alex. There's a river in front of you. Turn to your right. Alex? Okay, you seem to be in a forest clearing and there's a wood stump to your left there's with some objects right. on it. Right, okay, okay um, take three side steps to your left. Can you see the stump? Yes, I can. Could you examine it, please? Yep, there's a pineapple and a magnifying glass on it. Well, put the pineapple in your knapsack. Master, that's a spyglass. And I've got to say it, I don't think it's a good idea to use a spyglass on the opposition. He's got spies in the back of his head, if you know what I mean. No one knows what you mean, Pickle. It's because you're elvish, I suppose. Sometimes I don't even think you know what you mean. Don't let him worry you, team. There is a risk in using the spyglass. The longer you look through it, the more likely it is the opposition will know what you're doing. Even mm. so, it's the only way to get the jump on him. <laughs> Tell me... Whilst you've been having this adventure, do you sometimes get the feeling that someone's watching you? <laughs> there. You see what I mean? Anyway, to use the spyglass, just hold it up in front of the eye shield. Go on, Alex. Shall I use it? Um, yeah. What do you reckon, Yeah. Okay. You must understand, my dear Starkill, I already pay you far too much, particularly in view of your recent record. There are other goblin masters, you know. Yeah, well, you just can't get the goblins these days, your fearship, the lordship. I mean, couldn't I have some bigger goblins at least? Well, good, they're in right, they're all right, but well, they're a bit pathetic, if you know what I mean. And, well, the night shift, they're not exactly old goblins either. I mean, couldn't I have some of those really big eyebrow goblins from Malabrith? They love they Skarkill. I've told you on countless occasions, it's a bad workman who blames his tools. Up your catch rate, then perhaps we'll talk about it. In the meantime, get out there and stop this quest. Hello, hello. Spy system operating. Now let's see if I can track it to the side. Alex, stop. Stop Alex. using the spyglass. Just, 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 just drop it. Get him to drop it. Okay, put it down. Yeah, I have. <laughs> did you hear any of that? Yes, I did. Right, okay. Well, uh, keep sidestepping to your right until I say stop. There's that door there. Yeah. yeah that's what going for. Okay. Okay, stop. Could you walk forward? Are there any paths from the clearing? Mm, there's the just a door. Room. Okay, you're going through it through the spike. My shield now. Okay, Alex, we're just seeing through the eye shield at the moment, and you're walking through. A wood. <gasps> Goblins, master, and they're close. Keep going, Alex. Okay, yeah. Uh, you're coming to a clearing now. Okay, Alex, you've come into a clearing. Out of here, you earth-grubbing little uglies! As for you, you may not be a goblin, but a poacher's the next worst thing. It's not true, Alex. Well, apart from a fur trapper, of course. I caught a fur trapper last year. He won't be doing that again. Actually, he won't be doing anything again. Now, let's have a look at you. What's your name? Alex. Well, I can see you're carrying the token of the Green Wardens. I'm Gwendolyn. I'm a Green Warden. And the keeping of the forest is up to me. Now, I serve the powers that be. And I have the password to level one. 
but I can't give it to the ignorant. I have three questions for you, and two correct answers will please me. Are you ready? Yes. The longbow is made from a tree sometimes called the church warden because it grows in churchyards. Now, do you know the name of this tree? Is it you? It's a fruit tree. Is it, is it you? You. 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 Right. Alex, what do you think? I don't know this one. Right. Go on, Alex. Right. Say, say, you. say you. You. Correct. Mm -hmm. well, now, these trees will fall to the ground, and in millions of years, they will become coal. But what burnable substance will they become before they become coal? It's charcoal, isn't it? Charcoal? Which is don't know. Well, um, um, Petrol. Petrol. No. Oil. No. Oil. Yeah, well, that's oil. what we're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and say that. What oil? No. Now, jack-o'-lanterns are strange, flickering lights, sometimes seen over marshy ground. Now, do you know another name for them? Jack-o'-lanterns. Seen over marshy ground. Fireflies? Could be. Do you think it's fireflies, Alex? What, what do you think? Fireflies. Um, yeah, it's true. Okay. Oh, fireflies. Option. No. Damn. That's not the correct answer. But I can see you're trying, and you're carrying my green arrow, so I'll let you have the password. Thank you. The password is Sabretooth. Now, you must go on down the elfin path until you find the portal. The opposition has already tracked you once, so you must get out of the Greenwood and into the dungeon. Now you go down to the portal, and I'll keep guard for you. Keep Thank walking, you. Alex. See, Master, there's always an elf path. Yes, Pickle. Mm. Okay, Alex, we're seeing through the eye shield at the moment, and you're... I think you're on the outside of a castle, and just keep walking along the walls towards an entrance. There's a shield on the wall. With some kind of bird, I think. Now you've come into a room. Stop. You see the barrel? Yes. Okay. There's some bread on it. Bread roll. Well, take the bread and put it in your knapsack. Oh, oh, it's a lovely dungeon here. Oh, it's got some lovely Bigger. things. Bigger. Nice right, shoes. So. Let me see them in the light. It's oh, his name. Lovely, lovely quality. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got nothing to protect itself with. No weapons. Ugh. Here, I'll tell you what. How about if Sylvester, that's me, I'll be your friend and I can carry all your lovely things for you. How about that, 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 that. Tell him that you've got something to give to him, you know. What, what's your surname? Hands. Sylvester Hands. You know, hands like feet, but the other end of your body. <laughs> Like that. Okay. Yeah. So, um, do and you know? got a book on literature. Give him okay. or give him, tell him about the book. Yeah, who's it from? Some... Audris. Yeah. Audris. Audris. Um, I have a book for you. From oh, yeah. yeah, from Haldris. Who? Haldris. Haldris? 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 Oh. Oh, I can't read. Have you got anything else? No, it's important that you have this book. Oh. Well, let's have a look at it. Just give it to you. quality? Yep. Oh. Oh. Has it got nice pictures in it? Oh. Can I have a look? Yes. Oh. I like looking at writing. I don't understand it, but I like looking at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that oh, a door nice. No, oh, what's that sort of thing? Oh, master, that isn't very nice. Turning somebody like Sylvester Hands isn't very nice into a hobgoblin. <laughs> I don't suppose it's permanent, because I don't doubt he did something to deserve it. Anyway, Hordris seems to have solved our immediate problems. Huh? Harry, Jesus, sound like goblins. Okay, right. They must have picked up Alex's trail again. Turn to your right. I think there's a door up at the back on the left. Okay, yes. Right. Yeah, Walk forward. Quickly. Stop. Turn to your left. And walk forward. Hurry! Oh, it's the eye shield. Yeah. Alex, we can see through the eye shield at the moment, and you're walking along a lawn inside the castle. And there seems to be a clearing, some kind of room, and you're just walking into it now. 
They're just coming in. Right. Gotcha. There's no point in running on your car eye, so you might as well stand your ground while I claps the irons on you. <laughs> Lovely. Your little wanderings are over, my friend, because for you, the game is up. Tell Scrooge York that don't tell that you can give him the gold if you let if you let him free, he'll give you gold. If Quickly. you let me free, I'll give you the gold. Gold? You offer Scar Kill, do you? Yeah, well, I like gold, but uh, my boss has got my number. Nah, I'll take risk it. Instead, it's the irons for you. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Tell him how will he know. Say, how will he know if, if you've just got the gold and he won't know if you're dead or not? How will he know if I give you the gold? He won't have to How will know. he know? How do you think he'll know? He sees everything as Lord Fear. What do you think? Extreme I have some kind of fall. No, I think money you're calls for you. Money calls. And I love it. Hero. I love it. Hero. 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 Spell casting. H E R O. Tarantara. Hello, hello. Tis both Sir Hugh to rescue you. Oh, gracious, Master. It's that benighted idiot, Sir Hugh. Do you think he can possibly hold his own against Scarkill? I don't see why not. He may be brainless, but he's awfully brave. He hasn't the sense to be scared of anything. <laughs> Absolutely capital. You stay over there, Ned. Eat some grass. Now then, which of you chaps needs rescuing then? Hmm? <laughs> which is it? Is it you? <laughs> Tell him. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do. Uh, oh, it's, it's a little chap behind you with the helmet. Oh, lovely. Jolly good. Well, I'll just flourish the old broadsword, you know. <laughs> oh, I'll clear off, you chinless twit. I'll knock some sense back in here. I serves the opposition, and this here is opposition business. Opposition? Never heard of him. As for business, this sounds like monkey business. Can't have that, sir. So have at you. What <laughs> 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 now? Oh, I'll be back for you. <laughs> <laughs> Capital little mouth that was. Absolutely a boner. Hello, dear heart. What's Hi. your name? Alex. How do you do, Alex? Sir Hugh de Whitless at your service. Now, as I was summoned by magic, I shall depart the same way. Adieu, Alex. Thank you. Okay, Alex. Yep. Um, turn to 11 o'clock. Right. Uh, side step right and keep going quickly. And oh. Stop. Walk forward. Turn a bit to your left and carry on. Okay, let's see. If, seeing through the eye shield, and you're walking across more grass. Seems to be heading through a door in the castle. Yeah, I'm just about to go through it now. OK, Alex, you're in a room with a, an exit on the far side. There seems to be an object on a box. OK, uh, walk forward. Stop. Turn to your left. Walk forward. Can you see the box? Yes. What's on it? It's a fish. Pick it up and put it in your knapsack. Oh, no, Master. It's a blocker. The opposition's played a blocker. Password. Sabretooth. Say Sabretooth, Alex. Sabretooth. Quickly, the door and the wall. Right. Alex, turn around. OK, walk forward. Turn to your left. Turn. Turn to your left. Right, a bit more. T walk forward. Keep going. Stop there. Yeah. Alex, you're in a room with several different paving stones with different and symbols on them. And there's a single exit on the opposite side. The scissors, paper, rock. Okay. Can you right. the symbols? They're scissors, paper, and rocks. Like the game, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. OK, so, right. Go for the scissors. Yeah. Well, no, get, get onto the rock first. Right, take a step forward. Right, he's on the rock. Okay. He's on the yeah. rock, so obviously, he, I think, I think he, that, yeah. that means he is the rock. Yeah. No, so you don't want to lose because we want to win. He wants to scissors. He wants to scissors. Yeah. Right, okay, so... Yeah. Paper wraps. So, yeah, so we want to Yeah, okay. So right, okay. Um, turn to 11 o'clock. Take a step forward. Okay. Turn. 
take another step forward, not that big. Yeah, he's going to... Right. Turn to that'll be two o'clock. OK. Uh, go quite slowly now. Uh, walk, take a step forward. And again. Take a small step forward. Um, turn, a, turn to 11 o'clock. Right. Take a small step forward. Get a direction. Um, and again. And again. Okay. Take a step forward. Too big. Turn to 11. Take a step forward. And another one. Okay. Um, just walk, take, keep walking forward now. All right, stop. Hang on, stop. That's the door right at the back. I shouldn't wait on, Dean. Right. Okay, keep going forward. Keep going forward, Alex. Quickly. 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 Dragon. Alex, you seem to be on the back of a dragon. I think that's a seat. And there's a castle in front of you. He probably wants the gold to go moving. Yeah. Oh, right. you! Yes, you, with the horns growing out of your great ugly bread bin. Oh, great goblins, master. There's only one thing worse than dragon's breath, and that's Elita's tongue. She could badmouth for ancient Britain. Shh, Pickle, she may not be your favourite, but she can help if she wants to. Time to sneak aboard for a free ride, were we, basic? Well, Smirky doesn't like freeloaders. Smirky likes gold and lots of it. Right. So if you want to get to level two, you've got to pay up or bog off. All right, then tell her about the gold then. Give it a go. Give it a go. I've got some gold here. Fair deal. Hand it over. Now, don't tell me. You want the conducting tour of the flight deck? Yes, please. This way then, stupid, and let me show you to your seat. Now, step over the back. Come along. Over the back of the saddle. Haven't got all day. <laughs> Sit down. Now, hang on tight and hold on to your breakfast. OK, you're sitting down on the back of the dragon. It's just about to take off. Uh, you're flying towards the castle now. Yeah. You're, you're just flying over the fields now. Still on the back of the dragon. You're going you up to me. Getting a bit higher towards the clouds. The dragon's looking around, thought for somewhere to land. Yeah. Still over fields and things. Maybe I'm looking for more gold, of course. <laughs> We're coming down now. There's, there's a clearing in front of you. And you seem to be heading to land there. Let's hope it has a dragon pad, Master. Okay, you're coming up to the castle. You're coming up to, I think, landing in front of the castle. Um, and you're getting a lot nearer now. I think the dragon's about to land. Yeah. Oh, a bumpy landing. Okay. Well, I think you better stand up and dismount, Alex. Okay. Do you walk down the back, off his back? Yeah. Okay, Alex, turn around. Six o'clock. Right, get, get, come over the seat. Walk over the seat. Right. Now, keep walking forward. Hey. Um, push your gun in the wings, then. Okay, stop. Oh. Hang on. Oh. Alex, you're looking through the ice field now. Um, you're sort of looking on top of a cliff, looking down where the castle was from the last... Mm. Not exactly the last homely house, Master. Can't believe there'll be much of a welcome here. I wish you'd understand, Pickle, that part of the art of this adventuring business is that a certain amount of optimism is called for. In other places, the phrase is, so far, so good. Just don't put people off, please. <laughs> You're going down the slope. There's a sort of mound sloping down to the ground on your right. 
You're walking along the side of the wall. Oh, he's passing past us in front of you. Uh, You're walking towards the entrance to the castle, I think. Hey. Alex, you're in a room inside the castle. There's a table in front of you with several objects on it. OK, walk forward and you'll come to the table. OK, um, can you examine any objects, please? Yep, there's um, a gem and a scroll he's down, he's down. and a twig and some berries and jam. Water, mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Right, read the scroll. Get right, get the food first. Read the scroll. Is, is the jam food? No, you can't consume a bottle. There's some grapes <laughs> here, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the grapes. Yeah, read the scroll. Okay, read the scroll. Okay. It says, it may get you out of a jam if you twig it. Get you out of a jam, jam, yeah. jam if you twig it, right. It looks like one of those water divining. Yeah, that's what you thought. Yeah. Um, it may get you out of a jam. Um, well, what, are the objects? what are the objects? There's, there's jam. a jam, a twig, and a no. berry. We ate the berry. And a gem. Oh, and a gem. gem. Right. So, um, I think we need a water divider. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll so get you out of a jam it, so. if you twig it. Yeah. This is so get you out of a jam. Yeah, so maybe the twig has got something to do with the jam. Yeah, well, maybe. if it if it says it'll get you out of a jam, then you might not need it. Yeah, so we this. need the berry to try. Yeah, and we need the gem to try and say. Let's say get the gem ready. Yeah. Okay, so take the gem and the twig then. There's nothing else on the table. So. No. Um, so what are we leaving behind? Take twig in here. Right. And you decided to. Yep. Right. Are we all sure that? Is that? Would you say that, Alex? Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay. Okay. Right. All right. Let's move on then. Okay. Um. There's no I apparent door. Oh, it's on the right. I think. Huh? There's one over to the left. I think up at the back somewhere. Oh, okay. oh hello, Alex. Quick, Take out. two size, three size steps to your left, quickly. Right. Um. Walk forward. Stop. Oh. Ah. You're looking through the arch shield. Yeah. There's a doorway in front of you. Uh, you're still in the castle. You're going through the doorway now. You're turning to the right. You're going up some down, yeah, up some steps to another room. I think. Come to a door. That's the wizard. What's his yeah. name? Hordris. Hordris. Okay. Alex. And so that's him. Um, Alex. Yes. Um, uh, there you're in a room with an exit on the far wall, and Alita. There's a man sitting down. Hordress. With a lady sit standing next to him. It's Alita. It's the I am afraid, Alita. Miss Alita, that one can do nothing for you. Do you wish to try again? Once more, then. Do you wish to try again? Once more, then. Open wide. Say, ah. No, it's no use. You have quite simply lost your voice. No doubt the opposition has purloined it for purposes of his own, who knows? Perhaps because you know too much of his traps and tricks. Despite one's arcane powers, one can do nothing for you. Wait. There's a dungeon here. Perhaps he could be the answer to your problem. Oh, come, come, that's most uncharitable. And physically quite improbable. Dungeoneer. Give one your name, if you would, and perhaps the purpose of your journey. Alex. Alex. Quest for the cup. And the purpose of your journey? Um, the quest for the cup. Master, if that cavern brat Alita really has lost her voice, it's the best thing that's happened under the horizon since Quiet. Christmas. Yeah. Maybe oh. this time the opposition's done a bit of good. Quiet, Pickle. If he heard you say that, he turned really nasty. Or perhaps I should say, nastier. Yeah. A young traveller, one would not, of course, attempt to influence you in this matter, but one might suggest that the recovery of this young uh, lady's voice may well benefit your interests. If you should chance to encounter upon it in your travels, I will give you a small charm to capture it. It is called Bag. Thereafter, you simply use the young madam's young lady's calling name, which is, of course... Elita. 
Yes, yes, one knows all about you not liking your real name being bandied about, but this is an emergency. Now, wish young Alex here good luck. Yes, well, that's uh, sort of elvish for good luck, you know. Farewell. Mrs. Okay. Lita, a word with you. They've both, they've both gone out, so take two side steps to the right and walk forward, please. Right, you're looking through the eye shield, Alex. Um, yeah, you're still in the castle. You're walking forward into another fairly large room. Alex. Okay. You're in a room with a table yeah. to your left, and I think there's an exit on the right. Okay, take two side steps to your left and walk forward. Okay, you come to the table now. Can you examine it, please? Yeah, there's a spyglass. A spyglass? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, shall we or not? Because take, yeah, as long as we don't do it too long. Take a fairly quick one. It might be. Alex, well, they already know where we do are. you think we should have a go on it? Look um, through it. Have a look through the spyglass. Yeah, might. just so we're not too long. Okay, right. right. Okay. Go on then. Get, you, get ready. Never mind that, Scarkill. It's good safe. Well, it's what I'm trying to tell you, your fish. Uh, your lordship. Uh, oh, I nabbed it like you said, and it was lovely. But uh, then it kept slagging me off, something rotten, and then. Uh, I mean, you never told me that it could keep on rabbit in after you nicked it, did you? And, uh, is out of garden, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've got terrible sensitive nature, and, and well, I just had to let it go. You did what? You imbecile Scarkill. I did steps to neutralize the elf rat, and you let its voice go. Go out there and back it quickly. And never mind if it calls you all the names under the mountain. They're probably appropriate anyway. Put it down, Alex. Away with you now, team. You've already okay. taken great risks to get Turn to your right and walk forward. Um, turn to about 10 o'clock now. It's right, the, right. spell casting. B A G. And obviously not that way either. No, I think it's. You must hurry away. Up to, up to the back. Up to right. the back. Alex, turn to 9 o'clock. Walk forward. Oh. Going up some stairs. Go. Yeah, you come through the eye field up some stairs. Did he use the spell? I don't know. Yeah. Right, you're going down the corridor. You're going down some stairs. Alex? Yes? Uh, you're in a room with an exit on the right hand wall and in the wall in front of you, there's a barrel just in front of you with, I think, some food on it. Take a step forward and you might be able to see it. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Is it food? Yes. I'm putting it in your knapsack. I don't want to hee hee hee! Guess there's three! What wears a silly hat and looks ugly? Yeah. Um, yeah. a jester or something. <laughs> no, he doesn't look ugly. Does Can you hear the voice? Yeah. Yes. I wonder if that's a question. Um, right. Yeah. Silly hat and looks ugly. A witch? It's me. Yeah. Oh, it's him. It's, it's the voice, I think. Oh, right. Yeah, I think it's taking him out of you, Alex. Yeah. Right, okay. Alex, yeah. do you think I should use spell the spell now? Yeah, spell All right. Spellcasting. Spell casting B A G. Oh, no! No bag! <laughs> Horrid bag! Nasty bag! Oh, no! <laughs> Elf gems, that's marvellous! Now, just seal it up really tight, find a great big deep chasm, lob it in, dig a hole. I don't have to tell you that's not very nice and not cool. particularly elfish. <laughs> that's okay. what you think. Uh, time for the calling, I think, team. Call Elita, Alex. Elita, Elita, Elita. Uh, oh, How this. dare you! How dare you call me! I'll show you what I'll. I say! I've got my voice back! It's back! Slag rat! Pot. Human being! Hey, this is great! I warned you, the foulest mouth under the mountains back in business. Hey, you, human being, are you the bad man? Say yes. Yes. Well, scumpot or not, you've done me a favour. Just don't go using my calling name again, though. 
or I'll turn you into a toad, a big, warty toad with slimy features. Not much different from the way you are now, actually. <laughs> anyway, I'll square things with you. The opposition stole my voice because my voice knows the password for level two. And now it's telling. The password is Black Rock. Now, I'm off to find Smokey and get me out of here before any more silly human beings learn my name. Bye! Okay, Alex, turn to one o'clock and walk forward. Turn to one o'clock again. Right. right, you're looking through the eye shield now. You're sort of heading towards the big door. Just one through. Alex, you're in a room. I think it's inside a castle. You have a... You have a um, exit to your left and one on the far wall. Hmm, there's magic here, Master. Oh, my name's not Pickle. So, we all know your real name isn't Pickle. Pickle, stop being obscure. No, I mean there's magic hidden here, Master. Or close by. Yes, well, no, no, let's think. Let's think. If it's hidden... If it's hidden, Master... Then it's there. It's there. So it must be found. It has to be found here, Master. Mr. Ryder. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well done, Max. Right, well done. Okay, just hold it out in front of you, then. Yeah. Oh, ah. A chest has fallen out of the sky. Um, okay. Um, well, a chest. This is a chest, okay. Um, could you turn to one o'clock and just walk forward? Right, we're coming to the chest now. Yep. Right. Um, can you open it? Actually, do you want to open it? Yeah. Well, there's something to make it for you. Okay. There's a scroll and a key. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want to read the scroll? Yeah. Okay. okay. The back door is locked. The back, the back door is locked. Does that mean the way out of level two, Master? Ah, could be. Key. It seems they found the key. The problem now is to find the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can throw away the divider now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right, take the key and, not, and put down and the And leave divider. the divider. Okay. Okay, right. Um, the exit, uh, turn, to, turn to your left. Take a step forward. Turn to one o'clock. Um, a bit more. All right, you're, we're in the ice shield now. You're going to the door. Are you going through the gates? Okay. You just turn right. Back door is locked. Alex, you're. I think you're outside. Yeah. And there's a metal wall in front of you, a castle wall to the left of you, and there's also. A stone with what appears to be food to the left of you as well. Okay, um, take two side steps to your left and walk forward. Can you see the stone now? Yep. Is it food? Yes, it's food. Okay, put it in your knapsack. Okay. It's a blocker that's coming forward, I think. Okay, a blocker's come out. Password. Black. Say, turn to say Black Rock. Right, say Black Rock. Black Rock. OK, the block is gone. Um, walk around the other side of the rock. Just walk forward. And turn to about two o'clock. Walk forward. Turn to your left and walk forward. Alex, oh. you've come Stop. to Stop. you've uh. come to another floor puzzle, and there's a flames, world, zone, rock. water. There's okay. several water, different symbols on the floor again, and the exit oh. is on the far wall. Well, water will put out fire. Look, this right. flame. Like the We're on the flames, so we want to go to the. You want to go to Earth? Earth. Okay. Is that you seem to have worked it out, but you must hurry, team. Yeah, quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay um, turn to one o'clock. Okay, walk forward. Too quick, Alex. Um, right. um, turn to yeah. ten to nine o'clock. No, ten nine o'clock. 
Right, um, take one step forward. <laughs> take a, a small size step and take a step forward. Sorry? So a small size step to your right and take a step forward. Quick. Okay. Great. Okay. Turn to your right. Um, take a very small size step to your left. Right, walk forward. Okay, take a side step to your left, Alex, just a small one. Okay. Right, take a. No one's got to the earth, don't we? So straight in front of him. Okay, take a side step to your left, not too far. No, a bit bigger than that. And again. Turn a bit to your left. Right, w take a step forward. Okay, uh, do a tiny size step to the left. Nasty. Oh, boys, your brain work was good, but your timing let you down. And now it's time for your feet to do the work. Spell casting. D I S M I S S. Farewell, boys. You were a bit too slow in the dungeon, but you can take your time going home. Oh, dear, Master. Five one. Five one. All right, Pickle, no need to rub it in. Anyway, seven's a lucky number, so...